day students. Today we are going to learn the biography of psychologist Melanie Klein. So, shall we begin? Class, what's the matter? Are you not interested? Teacher, reading biographies is very boring. Don't worry. We will not read anything today. I will show you one of her interviews instead. Welcome to the show. Today's guest is famous psychologist, Melanie Clean. Thank you. So let's begin from your childhood. Which place were you born? And where did you live? March 30, 1882 in Vienna, Austria. Your parents are Mr. Moritz Reisers and his second wife, Mrs. Bliebusser. And how many siblings did you have? Are you the eldest of all? No. In fact, I was the youngest of all four Where of did us. you do your schooling from? At the gymnasium. I always aspired to become a physician. In spite of being a physician, why did your father work as a dental assistant? He struggled to work in that field. But destiny didn't favor him. So, how did this impact the family? Sad for me always. By the time I was born my father had long since rebelled his early Orthodox Jewish training and he ceased to practice religion. And how did your siblings feel? I believe that my birth was unplanned. That led to feelings of being rejected by parents. I felt distant to my father. How was your relationship with Emily? And who were the other two siblings? Other two were my sister Sidney, who was four years older to me and my five-year elder brother, Emmanuel. Sidney tutored me. When I was four, she died. Then I became very close to Emmanuel, he was my close confidant. I passed the entrance exam of a reputable with his teachings. By the time I was 18, I lost my father and after two years Emmanuel passed away. I feel so sorry to hear this. Then, I had the only option of marrying and raising up a family. So, how and when did you meet your husband, Mr. Arthur Clean? Well, he was Emmanuel's friend. When I was 21 years old, I married him and later we had three children, Melita, Eric and Hans. And then, how was life? I was busy in raising my kids. In 1906, I finally succeeded in publishing an unfinished manuscript written by my brother. Now, moving to your career, how did this journey of psychoanalysis start? I went through depression and later my married life did not work great. I got separated from my husband and simultaneously had also started with some theoretical work. By 1926, I joined the British Psychoanalytical Society. I spent the rest of my life there developing my theory of child development into a new school of psychoanalytic thought and training future analysts in the theory and technique. My daughter Melita had opposed me during the controversial discussions and they remained estranged until the end. In the face of the loss of two of my children, I found solace in my work. I continued to develop my ideas about schizoid defense mechanisms, including splitting and the role they play in borderline conditions. Eight archivements. I am so honored to be interviewing you. Before we close, please tell us in brief about your object relations theory. Size the loving and nurturing relationship between it was parent built on and careful child. observations of young children, the first four to six months after birth. Amazing work of yours. Time to close today's episode. It was great talking to you, Ms. Clean. My pleasure. Awesome biography. Yes. And she died on the 22nd of September 1960.